So data types in Haskell, another way to declare these variables is to put them outside of our main function. So again, main, anything underneath main equals do is what I'm calling the main function for now. We'll get the functions in a bit, but everything inside of this main will get evaluated. So let's get these outside of the main. So we can do, we're gonna cut these with control X. And then I'm going to put these above the main function, so above where we run our main code. Control V to paste them. And I'm going to actually back these the whole way up to the left side. And to declare a variable outside of main in Haskell, we do not need this let. We can just say name equals Dudley and number of gifts equals 36. So now we've declared Dudley and still stored it inside of name. 36 still stored it inside of number of gifts and main will still know it'll still find this name and this number of gifts up here and it'll replace them with the appropriate uh, data that's stored inside of the variable. So let's save it and go to our WinGHCI, clear it, reload, and run it. And you can see we still have the same thing, right? So let's go back to VS Code. Now that we have these outside of main, we can add what are called uh, data type kind of definitions to them. So these are each a type of data, right? So you can see here that name is in double quotes and it's, it's Dudley, right? So Dudley in double quotes is what's called a string in Haskell. And we can say, we can specifically say, hey, name is going to be a string and then we can assign Dudley to name. Now you don't have to, but we can do that. So we can say name, and when, to assign a type to name, we, we're gonna use these colons, and we're gonna use two of them, and we're gonna say it's a string. So name is a string, and then underneath this, we say this string is Dudley, and we assign it to name. So this part up here is the type assignment. So we're gonna say, hey, name's gonna be a string, and then we say we store Dudley inside of name. Now, 36 is a number, right? But Haskell doesn't have a number type. There's a type that can replace 36 called an integer. So integers are like counting numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, negative 1. It also includes negative numbers. So any positive or negative numbers that are not decimals are called integers. So, and we're going to use int for short as our type that we need to know for now. There's two types, int and integer. We're just going to use int. So we can say num of gifts colon colon and we know number of gifts is going to be an int so we type int and types always begin with capitals in Haskell so capital S capital I and this won't make any difference when we run it we just know hey number of gifts is an int we're declaring it up here and we say then say 36 is stored inside number of gifts same thing here Dudley is a string and Dudley stored inside of name so this is how we specifically declare types in Haskell. If we save that, control S, and run it over here, reload, evaluate, it'll still work, right? We just specifically said what the types will be. Now, again, we didn't have to say these. Haskell will know. Haskell already knows that Dudley's a string. It's smart enough to know that. And it's smart enough to know that 36 is an int. But for this particular lesson, uh, it's good to know that how we declare these types above name and number of gifts. Um, now there's two more data types we need to talk about. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna delete this underneath main. And we're just gonna print these out first. So let's do put string ln. And we're gonna print out the name. Now there's two ways we can do put string ln, right? We can do quotes and say name and that'll work right if we save it go over here reload and run it it'll come out Dudley or we can use it without the parentheses and save it and it'll still work it'll still print name refresh and Dudley still appears right I'm gonna clear this so put string ln anything inside of these double quotes works with put string ln. Now anything that's not in double quotes, anything that's not a string, we need to print. So let's do print num of gifts. And that'll print 36 for us. Remember main runs from top to bottom, so we put Dudley first, and then we print number of gifts, 36, save it. And let's go over to the WinGHCI, refresh, run it. 
Dudley, 36. Perfect. So the last two types we need to talk about are char and float. Let's start with the char type. So below name here, I'm going to make a new variable and I'm going to call it my letter. And I'm going to set my letter equal to in single quotes this time, anything that's a char has to be in single quotes and it's only one letter. A char is one letter. So it could be A, B, C, Z, capital A, capital Z, capital B, anything like that, right? So as long as it's one letter, that's a char. So let's set it equal to A for now. And above that, to declare the char type, right, we can say my letter, colon, colon, and it's char, for and char is short for character. So a character is just one letter. My letter, char, and then we store the char in single quotes inside of my letter. Now remember, anything, save it, anything that is a string can be used with put string ln to print it. Anything that's not a string has to use print. So in order to print this character, we need the print function down here. And print's a function, so is put string ln is a function. Again, we'll get the functions in just a bit, but you can kind of know that those are functions for now, and we're giving variables to them to print to the console. So we can do print my letter and underneath number of gifts, right, and save it. So now this main function will know, it'll know to look for a name up here. And it'll print name, then it'll print number of gifts, then it'll print my letter. So save, go to the WinGHCI, clear it if you haven't already, reload, and run it. Dudley 36A. Perfect. Now let's suppose the last thing we need to talk about is a double. And the type is called a double. So back here we go. And to create a double, we're going to write, let's say Dudley has a GPA. So Dudley GPA, because Dudley goes to school somewhere, right? And we're going to set that equal to the double type. And a double is a decimal. So any number that's a decimal, it's going to be a double. Um, it could also be a float, but we're just going to use double for now. And then underneath, we can say Dudley GPA equals 3.6 because it's a decimal. And now let's go down here to main equals do. And the last one we're going to print is Dudley GPA. Um, so we can save it and now it'll print the name, the number of gifts, my letter, and then it'll print Dudley's GPA. So save, go back to the win GHCI. We're going to reload the file and evaluate it and run it. So there it is. We printed 3.6 out.